Hello, my name is Host Eric, and I'm the host talking with famous people. And I'm hopeful that this is not going to crash the computer. I'm back trying the new the new gear here on this computer with with a couple of little changes that hopefully uh, will cause it to not crash anymore. We'll find out. So, regardless, what I'd like to talk about today is the distinction between two kinds of elements. We're talking about a dichotomy here that is that expresses in a lot of there's a lot of different ways we might describe this dichotomy, but the base way that I want to describe it is discursive versus versus I was gonna say economic, but let's go with uh, pragmatic. I guess I kind of want to go with I'm kind of split, maybe just economic. In the policy debate topic, when I talk use this distinction, I do use economic because. In the policy debate topic this year, which is about engaging China either economically or diplomatically, I, I define diplomatically as discursively and economically as um, as necessarily predicated upon discursive engagement, but distinct from, in other words, all economic engagement can't... It, Economic engagement can't happen until and unless some diplomatic engagement happens, but after the initial bare minimum level, they they function independently as independent things. So economic and diplomatic engagement don't necessarily affect one another. So my the point of this is about though the idea of diplomatic engagement being discursive. So this is true for China and it's true for us in our lives as well that we have two different kind of levels upon which we deal with other individuals. It's either outcome specific or it's means specific. So when I'm talking about discursive impacts or discursive approaches, I'm talking about means related impacts. It says it doesn't matter what your position is. That's not how we know if you're right. What matters is how you argue and behave regarding the words you assert as your position, that's what we determine, determines whether your, your position is right or not, not what your position is. So this is the distinction that's made and I think is blurred by a lot of people. And I want to give some concrete examples to try to help clarify what I mean here because I know it's kind of uh, an ephemeral concept. It'll get out of your hands as you try to grab it. So, <laughs> mostly in the status quo, you've got a situation where an individual might advocate for a given law or something, might advocate a given position. They might say, we should, we should prohibit Muslims from entering the country, uh, immigrating. Okay, let's stop Muslim integration, Islamic immigration. This is a position that I've stated before. Whether or not that position is correct or incorrect is has nothing to do with the specifics of how I want to implement it or like that. And it has nothing to do with comparison against a single true answer that says yes. Muslims should be prohibited or not be prohibited. Whether or not it's true has entirely to do with what justifications I provide for it and how I respond and react to counter arguments and how I respond and react to realities that suggest my idea might be bad. In other words, rightness and wrongness of a statement fallaciously, but truly, can't be removed from the individual making the statement. So you might say we're compelled, if we want to understand things, to commit an ad hominem fallacy, except to say that would be reductive because it's missing my point. It, you are not attacking the individual or rewarding the individual saying, oh, you're the right kind of person, so you're right. Instead, you are attacking or rewarding the specific, stated, explicitly listed and taxonomy reasons and processes by which they reached the conclusion they reached. The specific 
reasons and processes by which they will defend it and attack opposing things. Those those system behaviors of truth reckoning are what ultimately determine whether the statement is has validity or not. Has it undergone that process of truth reckoning? But to know if it has requires, if you have a single other individual advocating something, for you to determine that by finding out if the single other individual is engaging in the right kind of argumentation, the right kind of defense, the right kind of attack, etc., if he really understands. And then that's how you can determine if this thing is supported enough to gain your approval, which is why, of course, also, it's the person making the claim, they, who have the burden of proof. Because I should afford it no justifications, no credence, no weight. I, no matter how true or right the conclusion is, I should afford that conclusion no positivity whatsoever unless it is attained through the right means and within the right argumentation battlefield or set of events. So that's my, and my thoughts, and I want to open it up to you guys now. Yeah, I think you'd really like that diagram that I made. That's your thoughts on it? That I'd really like the diagram you made? I mean, that basically describes the diagram. Okay, well... So, you say, you, you tend to adhere to a similar metaphysics. Let's see where it's the same and where it breaks down. Uh, I believe right, that where is the same word you base it off standards. What? I believe, I believe we base it off standards of deviations of what is acceptable or not, and these differentiations need to be broken down on a value-oriented basis, and once that Wait, value is superseded... Hold, hold, hold on, Bo, you're, you're, you're answering my question before I asked it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, why am I not getting any speakers from this. Where is this coming out of? Oh, this is coming out of there. That's why. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. Okay, can you talk for a second? Yeah. Okay, nothing. Hmm. Can you talk again? Hello? Well, what the fuck? It's got to be coming from there. This is so weird. Why can't I... It's recording fine, but I can't figure out how to get it to come out, out the headphones. Like it's supposed to. God damn it. I've stopped this video and started it over. So, well, I mean, I... You go ahead and talk, Bo, and I, was, I think you may be being recorded. I don't... Fucking God damn it! I think we'll just start this over. Fuck. Okay. I fucked it up. It's coming through fine for... Like, on the video, you're coming through fine, but I can't hear you. Or I hear you through the speaker, and I'm just going to get the echoey thing. 